Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're welcome to join. So we're looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we fell quite significantly from the highs here all the way to the bottom, roughly 4.57%. And since then, we have rallied at uh, 3,700, give or take. We rallied all the way up towards uh, 3,843. And we had a little bit of a pullback at the end of the session. But we have rallied inside into the uh, this, uh, this lower support uh, level here in the channel. And we're back in the channel. It will be interesting what happens if or not we manage to rally further inside this channel, because that would basically mean that we'll probably go and test the upper part of the channel. We'll most likely go towards the top of the Bollinger Band before we find major resistance, and that is roughly at 3,900, give or take. Technical indicators, they are all turning around. They are looking very bullish at this point. MACD is still underneath the signal line, but it is turning around. RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, Stochastic is bullish. And yes, we are inside this uh, channel yet again. And long-term target here is uh, 4,000, uh, 4, but uh, 3,900 is probably going to be our first target before we pull back. A pullback from here would uh, open the door to the 20 exponential. And we know that the 50 and the 40 are quite supportive. So uh, if it, we fell towards this level again, then it's a major buying opportunity yet again. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow also fell quite significantly from the highs of 31,300, give or take, all the way down to 29,837. There's a fall of roughly 4.5%. And then it rallied all the way up to 30,851. And now we have given some of those gains back. Uh, but the reason why we gave most of the gains back is because we ran into the middle of the Bulger Band here at the 20 simple moving average. So we're still trading above the 20 exponential. If we manage to stay above the 20 and 20 exponential, that could mean that we'll go and target 31,500. And uh, this channel here, its continuation will just continue. We're still not inside of this channel yet again. Uh, we are running into resistance here, but a pullback towards the 20 exponential, or the 40 exponential, sorry, in the white line here, of roughly uh, 30,400. That should be massive support and a yet another opportunity to enter this market. So technical indicators are turning around. We are quite low here on our side, so it is a lot of room to the upside. MACD is turning around, it's above zero, um, and um, CCI is also turning around and stochastic is looking very, very bullish at this point. So if we manage to stay above the 20 exponential, it will act as support and rather than resistant. And that's a very good sign that we are going to go higher. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So as you can see in the NASDAQ, we have rallied quite significantly. We are up at 13,456 at this current stage. We are reaching to the top here of the Bollinger Band. So the top of the Bollinger Band is at 13,606. 13, and there we should find major resistance and then pull back. So we are inside this channel yet again. We can get rid of this. I don't know how that. So we're way inside of the channel yet again. All the way to the top will break down. And that is basically your entry point yet again. So pullbacks will be expected around this area. So... 13,200, 13,100, that should be massive support. And the long-term target here is 13,000 or 14,000 uh, will be the longer long-term target here. So technical indicators are turning around. They are fairly bullish at this point. We are in the, uh, well, nearing the top of the RSI being overbought. And we're also near the top of the Bollinger Band. So at this point, Pullbacks are buying opportunities. If we manage to pull back all the way down to the 20 exponential, that is a major buying opportunity in this case. 
So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.